All right, everyone, we're back today with a fresh review of a Maker's Mark barrel pick that me and Fish did with Molly's Liquor. Finally came in, and it is phenomenal. We're going to review it today on the channel. Let's pop the cork. Mm-hmm. Squeak, squeak. Relatively easy to get off for a, a wax top. <clears throat> oh, oh, yeah. So this one was a choice of three. We had three different barrels to choose from that. Three day. different barrels. Yeah. Well, three different. Three different stave profiles. Stave profiles. That's yeah. the fancy one. The one that we ended up picking, we'll uh, show close ups of the bottle. It's a 14131 stave profile. And it came out at 110.6 proof. Delicious. Let's get it in the glass and give it a review. Blah, 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 blah. Some nice big pour to start tonight. These are our fat drams. We can get a whole mouth full. That's right. And taste it everywhere. Exactly. You don't just sip it so it evaporates on your lip. <laughs> mm. All right, man. Mm. So we did this one at a local bar, restaurant, poorhouse in Centennial, Colorado, I believe yeah, it was. one of them foo-foo places. Yeah, it was kind of fancy, but... We definitely uh, stuck out like turds in a punch <laughs> bowl. Yeah, man, we had a couple of loaded plates of charcuterie and stuff. Hey, you got to make the most of it, you know? We don't get invited to this stuff all the time, even though we have been awful busy lately, and we'll be involved in a bunch more barrel picks coming up here real soon. Can mm -hmm. you get it on the nose? Oh, oh damn. Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Buttery apples. I got some cherry colas. I got a little bit of cola. Yeah. Oh, man. Good Lord. Come on. The Makers ain't really our jam. It's not that we dislike it. It's just that we haven't found that hitter bottle yet to where we're like, you know, blown away by a Makers product. And and we have his mark just need to hire us to come blend this stuff. That's all. <laughs> it is pretty damn good. I'm ready to get some on the palate. How about you? Oh, yeah. Cheers. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. Woo. Yeah, like a warm apple pie. That's With delicious. A fresh dollop of ice cream on top. That was the first drink, too, so it's a little spicy. A little cinnamon, yeah, that baking spice. Mmm. Oaky finish. And that little bit of hug in there. Of course, man. You ain't feel, oh, yeah. If you ain't feeling the hug at a 100-plus bourbon, then I think you may have drank too much bourbon. Chill out with some bitchy juice, though. <laughs> Trademark. Man, I got these lovely little... Metalhead Whiskey Snob Koozies. Bitch Juice Koozies. Those are for sale if you want one. Plug, plug. <laughs> We've got a bunch of merch coming up too. We just had our first uh, merch booth last weekend, weekend before. Last weekend on my birthday. Last weekend to do 50th at Drunk Fest. Set that up. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, we had shirts, drams, rocks glasses, shot glasses, koozies decals, all kinds of stuff, man. And we're just getting started with it. So be sure to keep an eye out in the future on the socials for merch and stuff that if you'd like to order, we'll put a link up. And I'll try to set up a website, but until then, just send me a private message and we'll square things away. Yes, sir. All right, man. So yeah, everything for me pretty much transferred from the nose over to the palate. The finish was nice and long, really, really oaky. And kind of a delayed oh, hug, if you good. ask me. Oh. Mm. Oh, starting to get all that little bit Opening up a little bit, yeah. Butterscotches and toffees. And, mm. That's what that butter I was talking about, yep. Yeah. yeah, that butter note. It's a little bit of spice in there, too. I feel like I got my nose in my glass half of these episodes, uh, but I, I can't help myself. This stuff's so shit good. smell good. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Nice and viscous and oily, too, man, which for us up until the 135 wasn't really something we got off of Makers. It was not that really kind of, not so much thick, but, yeah, just oily and viscous kind of bourbon. But this is just hands down one of the best Makers products I've ever tried. And I'm not trying to be biased because we helped pick it, but 
you know, when when you're given when you're given different variations of the same product, you kind of get to be a little bit more nitpicky about what you like and you don't like. And this kind of helped us to figure out something for makers that we really, really enjoy. Yeah, and I don't think it helped that we was in a foo foo restaurant. It is what it is, man. We don't get to choose where we do these half the time. Most of the time. I enjoyed every all bit of time. it, though. It was good. I did get looks at, you know. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I got a dirty look from the waitress lady. And I said, I was here. And she said, you all right. I said, you know I is. Mm -hmm. I can't understand him either, everyone. Don't don't think it's just you. <laughs> no clue what he's saying at the time. <laughs> uh, all I will say is if you would like to try this selection and if you're in Colorado you can go to Molly's uh, either location I believe and they still have a few bottles of this on the shelf yeah, a couple of cases left a couple of cases cool if not then uh, keep an eye out for that same stave profile and you'll kind of get a better idea of you know the, the, the pick that we had but uh it'd be close but it ain't gonna be it nah, it never is it's a single barrel for a reason man just talk to us on the down low we'll see what we can have <laughs> good call Ready to finish off? Yeah. Cheers. 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 Mm.